right, so we're back in uh, Blue Water Gorilla's Jazz Kitchen. We're gonna start with prepping all the items that we've bought from the market. It's super important when you come back is take each item and we do what's, uh, uh, break it down into mise en place. Very simple. What you wanna do is you wanna try to avoid getting the uh, silk all over your cutting board. So we'll just pull back right over a pan, drop it right in the pan so you don't have to worry about getting any of the silk all over your cutting board. And we're slowly just gonna go down with the natural way of the corn. Now we got our heirloom tomatoes that we got from the market. Even though they come from the pristine market, you still need to wash them. What we're gonna do is we wanna take our tomatoes and we wanna macerate them a little bit. You wanna make sure when you're cutting down on the tomato too, is that you're not pressing down on the tomato. You don't want all the juices to squeeze out of it. Um, you also wanna do almost like a sawing motion. I like to pull back on my tomatoes and cut right through it. Put a little bit of salt on the tomatoes. Anytime you add salt to something, you add pepper. Just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is a fruity type of olive oil. I think it goes perfect for summertime. Make sure you get both sides of the tomato. Cherry heirlooms. And we're gonna add our fairy tale eggplant. Extra virgin. Very, very lightly, just, just get a little of flavors moving. But again, not, not to beat it up too much, because I want a fresh shallots, very, very finely diced. And that's it, that's your salsa. So we've chosen our fish today. Today it's an Atlantic black bass, uh, a beautiful fish. I look for firmness in the meat. I look for the eyes. I make sure that they're very clear. You look, lift up the gills, look underneath, you'll see it should be bright red, vibrant. It should not be slimy, it shouldn't be brown. Just pinch the fish a little bit, and then we just score the meat just a little bit. Also, you get some of the seasoning in, which we're gonna put right now into those grooves too. When, you, when you're putting your salt on a fish, you actually wanna take your three fingers and you put them together. All right, so now we're gonna cook our piece of black bass. Um, I have two trays here. One is my prep tray. Okay, once you cook the fish, you don't want to put it back. We're going to put it skin side down. What we want to try to do is we want to get the skin nice and crispy. Always place the fish away from you. Okay, you put it in the bottom and away so in this way the oil doesn't splash up at you. Okay, what we want to do with black bass is you got to give it a good press. You want to get that skin down onto the bottom of the pan so it gets that caramelization working. That's a good sweet flavor, okay? So we'll alternate the colors. We'll start with a nice, beautiful red tomato. A little red. Again, we're gonna go with just a little more touch of that extra virgin olive oil. Fairy tale eggplant, corn, heirloom tomatoes, a little bit of cilantro. Now we're just gonna give it all that mix. And you can see we've actually started to develop its own little vinaigrette in the bottom. So our fish comes out of the plant pan. It's transferred to this. You can see the fish is nice and nice and beautiful, crispy. Hold my spoon. I'm gonna hold a pencil. Fairy tale eggplant we put in there. Put a little touch of reduced balsamic, micro basil. Taste the flavors of the market. You have the tomatoes in there, the fairy tale eggplant, the corn, and the beautiful black sea bass. And you should come down to Blue Water Grill seven days a week where we uh, feature everything from Union Square Market on our menu. Um, you know, we're really showcasing it, especially in the summertime into the fall. Definitely a perfect time to come on down and join us at Blue Water Grill.